Hi, let's talk about ovulation induction and timed intercourse. When your healthcare provider has ascertained that you have good quality eggs, your fallopian tubes are patent, and your spouse's semen contains good sperm cells, he may counsel you have a procedure called ovulation induction and timed intercourse. Ovulation induction is relatively cheap and not time consuming as you do not have to make frequent visits to the clinic. It's not an invasive procedure and is the first treatment of choice for suitably selected women with infertility. The procedure involves using drugs to increase the number of eggs released at the time of ovulation from the ovaries and hence improve the chances of the woman getting pregnant. These drugs act by causing an increased release of hormones such as the follicle stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone, which stimulates the growth and maturation of multiple ovarian follicles within the ovaries. While taking the medications, one or two ultrasound scans may be carried out to check for the development of the follicles. When the follicles are large enough, another drug called HCG is given to cause a final maturation of the eggs, and the couple will be counseled to have sexual intercourse 34 to 36 hours later, which will coincide with the time of ovulation. Ovulation induction is recommended for women less than 35 years of age, women with polycystic ovarian syndrome, women with anovulatory circles who do not ovulate regularly, women with hormonal imbalance or unexplained infertility where the cause of the infertility is not known. Women with irregular menstrual pattern can also benefit from it. It can be combined with any of the procedures such as intrauterine insemination, IVF and ICSI. Up to 75% of women with irregular menstrual flow will ovulate with about 50% pregnancy rates within the first six months after using ovulation induction procedures. Several medications can be used to stimulate the ovaries to produce multiple follicles. They include Clomid or Clomiphene citrate. Now, this is the most commonly used drug amongst women and it's an anti-estrogen medication that acts by increasing the levels of follicle stimulating hormone which stimulates the development of the follicles. It's taken orally by mouth and usually for about five days starting from the third to fifth day of the menses and the dosage can range from 50 mg to 100 mg daily. It's preferably taken at night to reduce its unwanted side effects. Common side effects of clomiphene citrus include headaches, hot flushes, visual disturbance, ovulation pains, and mood changes. A second common drug used is letrozole. Now, letrozole is an aromatase inhibitor that helps to suppress estrogen production and hence leads to an increase in follicle stimulating hormone. FSH, of course, like we said before, stimulates the ovaries to produce multiple follicles and increases the chances of the woman getting pregnant. Letrozole is also taken by mouth, usually for five days, beginning from the third to fifth day of a woman's menses. The dosage is usually between 2.5 to 5 mg daily and is preferably taken at night to reduce its unwanted side effects. Common unwanted effects of letrozole include headaches, hot flushes, muscle aches, diarrhea, dizziness, ovulation pains, and mood changes. A popular drug used in ovulation induction is the gonadotrophins. These are the injectable medications that cause the ovaries to produce multiple follicles and eggs. They are usually used during the IVF process and they are given daily from the second or third day of commencement of menses and stopped when the eggs are large enough for ovulation to occur. They are administered subcutaneously into the, or into the muscle under the skin. Several types of gonadotrophins are available and they include drugs like 
the FSH only, which is marketed as Gonad F or Bravel. There's the human menopausal gonadotrophin, which contains a combination of FSH and LH, marketed as Menopure. Unwanted side effects of this drug include weight gain, leg swelling, nausea and vomiting, and sometimes severe lower abdominal pains. Most of these side effects would disappear within a short while. The fourth group is the human chorionic gonadotrophin, also called the HCG, not the HSG. Now, the HCG are the injectable drugs that cause the ovaries to release eggs and cause ovulation to occur. They act similarly to the luteinizing hormones, and they are given when the size of the follicles containing the eggs is large enough for ovulation to occur. After administration of HSG, ovulation will occur within 36 to 40 hours. Common unwanted effects of HCG include headaches, irritability, leg swelling, in some cases depression, and then pain at injection sites, and restlessness. Like we said before, these side effects are usually short-lived and will pass over time.